What up, what up, YouTube? Let me do a quick video here. <clears throat> it's not going to be called an unboxing yet. But I do want to show you something that came in today. <clears throat> um, let's see what we got here. I can't show you the code to my garage. You know that. Oh, snap. What we got here? That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. We'll do a proper unboxing of this stuff. This is some serious stuff right here. I'm going to try not to curse, all right? I'm going to try not to curse because we got little ones watching these videos now. All right. So, anyway, speaking of little ones, we got Kayla's motor here. I'm just getting home from work, guys. It's late. And uh, I'm told that I got to go into work at midnight. Because we're getting snow. Alright, we're getting snow and uh, I'm going to be without sleeping. Possibly. It might be one of them days, one of them nights. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be a lot of snow. Hopefully um, it will be just a little bit. But still, I can't. There's no way to sleep at work. You know. Anyway, Kayla, look. I got your motor here still. Been through, I did a bunch of heat cycles. Alright, let, 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 since we're here, let's fire it up before I go inside the house. I also have some goodies I want to show you guys. I've been uh, <clears throat> a little different. Last week was amazing, bro. It was I did a video every day. I don't know, I don't know if you guys noticed that. Every night was a freaking video. But anyway, uh, let's see how we'll kill this motor is doing. All right, primer up. I'm gonna be taking the motor out of here soon. I'm gonna bring it downstairs. Uh, when I get a chance, I'm going to be putting the Bartolone clutch carrier on here for Kayla. Um, okay, guys. This, Good. Oh, I love the smell of camp too. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, yeah, I've been doing this like crazy. I did about six of these tents. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's a stock motor. Anyway, it's a good motor. So, anyway, let me show you some goodies I got, and that's it. Excel is doing well. I'm waiting for the linkage. I spoke to Dan. Dan said uh, he saw my video. And he's going to send me a new linkage right away. And um, he's going to bend one differently. All right. He's going to bend one differently. Supposedly, um, it's different. So we'll see how it works. I need that linkage so I can start driving this thing. All right. And I actually wish I had the stock motor back in here because they're talking about snow. And I would love to bust this out in the snow as soon as it, I get a chance. But um, I'm, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep the motor in here, and I'm gonna continue on the break-in. That's it. Let's do this real quick. I got another bag that came in today. I'm, I'm starving. It's late. I gotta feed the fishies still. <clears throat> All right, let's, here's the water wall clutch carrier. I'm going to put for Kayla once I get a chance. Maybe Saturday or Sunday. Um, so, Eric, Kayla's father, is going to be, um, he mailed me uh, some outerwares. So that way, I'll have the outerwares. You know, when, when you guys put, when you guys install outerwares, like this, you're supposed to put the Velcro on. You already guys seen my video of cleaning this properly, all that, to put the damn Velcro on. So, But the Velcro has to, has to dry at least 24 hours for best results. Tr trust me. 
I sometimes I go two days. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 because I'm telling you, if you put the Velcro on and rush it and put the damn outerwear on, I'm telling you, it's gonna come out. You're always gonna have problems. You're gonna have to glue it and never. I got a, I got a, I got a freaking Velcro on my six-year-old OBR motor. That's on my Losi Five Teeth. That never peeled off. You know. So anyway, this one's doing well as well. Um, all right, we got some goodies here. I, you know, I just show you guys pretty much everything that, that happens. Um, you guys already seen my some muggy parts I got. I think if not, I got uh, maybe you didn't. Anyway, I started getting parts here or there. You know, the muggy is discontinued, but I wound up finding this. It's a steering brace out of graphite. And I got uh, some bulkhead. All right, the rest, you know, the muggy A-arms and everything like that is the same as the LST2. But I got to get as much muggy stuff as possible just in case. So anyway, I got me a... Um, I thought it was a new fuel tank, but it's a used one. It seems to be in good shape. I don't know. I haven't peeled this off yet. Um, that's it. This is for the Hyper 7. Okay. I'm going to be doing, possibly, I'm not 100% sure. I may wind up, I may wind up selling uh, the Hyper 7 now to a kid that, that needs it more than I do. And, and it would be a big help for him to start out in the hobby. Uh, but I, I still, some of you guys want to see me do a Hyper 7 build, and, um, but we'll see. I mean, I got, uh, I mess with other ones, uh, you know, I have plenty uh, things to do already with the stuff I have, so, but I, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, my cousin bought the other Hyper 7, which is, I think it's called, uh, um, what was it called, a Velocity or some sh uh, I think it was called, um, Oh, the damn, oh, Violator. The one my cousin got is called a Violator. Same same thing as the Hyper 7. Um, anyway, I got this. I hope you guys went to Novorossi Direct last week when they had the sale. You know, they have the, they had uh, some sale on some really nice, good quality nitro engines. Stock, not modded ones, stock ones. You guys want modded ones, you're going to have to go to TNS over there and talk to Neil. But... For, for for a very good good quality nitro motor with very little problems no less no headaches good sh good stuff i'm gonna try not to curse um you can't beat an overall for, for, uh, definitely for the price my cousin his first time ever i'm gonna show you guys his garage setup you know i'm trying to get him into this and helping him out as best as i could I already gave him a couple of tools that I had extras, all right? Because uh, I'm a good guy, I guess. <laughs> I wish I had somebody to help me out like that. Right, Anthony? But uh, anyway, I hooked him up with some stuff. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to show you how his setup is going to be and the process with his first nitro buggy ever. Good, you know, he, he a big difference from going from Toys R Us stuff to um, real eight scale stuff. So anyway, what I got here from Novorossi, I took advantage of the sale, is some tools. It's an RV tool. Great, beautiful tool for the springs. It's a hook for the exhaust springs. And uh, you, I wouldn't use this on the fifth scale stuff. All right, I have others. <clears throat> I'll, I'll show you what I use for the motorcycles, for the ATVs and stuff. My boy, um, fifth scale uh, RC Insanity probably knows about this since he was a mechanic with motorcycles um in the past this is what i use for the fit scales uh springs all right i, I got two of those this is a, a newer one i you, you guys got to see the one i have in my garage it's it's like when you, if you see the hook you know you know i did many jobs with that i performed many jobs with the one i have in the garage but, yeah. but um Anyway, this is really nice, cool, all right? Without this, I would have to use needle nose pliers, and it, sometimes the spring would bend, you know, and you would risk damaging something or whatever. This is just so much neater, and uh, like I said, every year I try to, 2017 is all about working like a gentleman, man. 
you know. Plus, I'm a guy that loves tools. And this is a, a good quality one. All right, you can get these at Novorossi Direct. Save yourself some coin. All right, see what that is. Part number. All right, so what else we got? Oh, I got some. Uh, I got me another 41031 header. Okay, I'm gonna try this out. I, I had one already. I loaned it out, and I never got it back. So, I it was I had a, I took advantage of the sale, and I bought me another 41031 header. Okay, I'm gonna be trying this guy out maybe on the Paloma with my uh, I don't know what one of the pipes. Whatever you guys think. And I bought some of these because I have uh, a bunch of nitro engines. And these are very good to have. You want to have your motors sealed when in storage. Even in storage, your motors can seize up and if you don't have uh, after run oil, the proper stuff in there. All right. Um, and here's the part number. All right. You can get these. These are, these are great. It has the crankshaft protector. Yeah, it has the the exhaust port, an intake, the carburetor, seal, yeah, very nice. And um, what, else? I don't know what the hell this is? Let's see what the hell this is. Break this! Break this! I'm gonna try not to curse, like I said. Break this stuff. Break this paper. Oh, I forgot to show you my. What the hell is this? What the. Ah, this is a damn flashlight. Oh, this is that flashlight I bought. Yo, so anyway, one night I'm watching TV. I was watching... What the hell? Some show. I forgot what the hell the name of the show was. And uh, this damn commercial. I'm a big flashlight guy. I don't know if you, if you guys know that about me. I love flashlights. I mean, I love American made in the USA flashlights. Like mag lights. I love mag lights. I have all types of mag lights. I have custom big mag lights. Um... I have LED, there's a company that has these, that makes these LED lights, and I, there's this one light, I forgot the name of the company, but uh, I, I carry it in my truck. You you replace the bulb, and you put this LED light in here from, from this company, and it shoots a beam like you wouldn't believe, man. It, 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 I forget how many lumens, there's something ridiculous, and um, it's uh, one of the, the big uh, batteries, so I think it was... Uh, one of my four or five cell D battery uh, mag light. So I, that sucker is like big. But this is one I use every day for work. And everywhere, as you can see, I really use it. I've used this flashlight in two hurricanes already. All right, this is uh, an LED also. It's been in the water, it's been in everything. And I mean, look at it, it looks almost polished. All right, it just won't die. One time in a rush doing a job at my work, I've had this in my toolbox and I forgot. I closed my drawer. Guess what, it was a Friday night, right? What happens Friday? I wanna get the hell out of there as soon as possible. I forgot the damn flashlight in my drawer all weekend long. On Monday morning, I get there, the damn flashlight's still on. Still on, all right? So I don't know how many freaking lives this sucker has, but it's old. And they, um, so anyway, <clears throat> I picked up that flashlight that you see on TV. And uh, it better be good. I mean, it was cheap, but we'll see. It looks pretty good. They said it, uh, it better be made in the USA as well. Yeah, so it was the atomic beam. Well, we're going to check this sucker out see how this guy goes one of these days all right let me know it looks nice it looks good look at it you know it's kind of for every day for me i don't know it might be too much to carry i have to carry all this crap with me I carry a leatherman i carry these my mag light flashlight yeah so i got two of them well, i'm not getting two of them yeah atomic beam usa right it's, it's got to be american right <laughs> Gotta be made in the USA, I think. It says Atomic Beam USA, right? I, I wouldn't be surprised if this if this thing is made in. I'm gonna find out exactly where the hell this is made up, and I'll let you know. 
I just hope it's USA since it says USA on it. Anyway, I got two of them. And uh, we'll check that out. And that's it, man. Yeah, I hope you guys are uh, wrenching away. I know a good few of you guys are wrenching away. I still haven't modded my uh, stand yet. <clears throat> All right, there is uh, my boy Richie Gordon from Vermont. He's doing some sick builds, man. He's doing some really nice work with his engines. He's doing some really nice uh, fifth scale gas motors. And uh, he also picked up one of these stands and he wound up using uh, different uh, pins. And um, I gotta give it a try. I gotta get the same pins he got. And um, I also wanna, this guy here also has to be trimmed out. I mentioned it in my one of my past videos. Do you see all this here? I got my, I'm gonna have to grind this or cut this out. All right, so I can work on the DBXL. But I'm also it will hold my MTXL. But the MTXL, I'm gonna have to drill out more holes. I gotta find out exactly where they are and take out what I need because I want this stand to work on everything. HPI Baja uh, or any Baja, um, any Lossy 5T uh, platform, any 5T platform, uh, and any um, DVXL platform because I, I work on many. I mean, I have my own, but I also work on my friend's stuff as well. So, and also I help out my hobby store. Sometimes my hobby store is so damn busy. Every now and then they'll give me a call and say, hey, John, can you. Uh, um, you have time to do a couple of jobs for us and I, I'm more than happy to do it, but uh, I'm just so busy lately, you know, I don't have time for my own stuff, but um, But um, every now and then if if they do need help, I'll help them out. So I got to have everything on check That's it. All right, you guys have a good night Hopefully it doesn't snow that much and I don't have to break my back that much. Oh Damn another thing Check this out guys, check this out. If I do do the build, I'm gonna use them. If not, whoever's the new owner of my Hyper 7 is gonna be a lucky guy because guess what I got, man? Some carbon fiber. I don't know what the hell this is. It looks kind of different. If you guys know exactly, it's gotta be. It's light as hell. You guys see that? All right. Still, I still may do the build, you know, rebuild, I guess, if you will. But I, I really feel like doing another Truggy build, you know, instead of wasting my time with this. But, I mean, this will be a nice, fun kit to do as well. Parts are so cheap on it. Now, I bought these used off a guy. All right. But uh, they're still in nice shape. And they're super light. All right, I just want to show you guys everything. See it? All right, so, yeah, thanks to Mr. BRC. Mr. BRC was the one that found this for me. He told me about it, and I uh, bought them. All right, um, and that's it, man. Oh, before we go, I have to put this in the clip. Look what I found, guys. And now I'm pissed. Now I'm going to return. I'm going to get rid of this crap. I'm returning it. I'm pissed. All right. They trick you on TV. They call it Atomic Beam USA. All right. What the, what the, what the F does that say that? That's not, that's not right, man. That's not right. That's not right. I, this is, you know, I never had issues, never had problems, but for the past five years man this has been bugging me yeah right? this is, has been bugging me it's everywhere dude I hope this new freaking crazy president that's coming will change this can will change this right hopefully we'll start seeing what it's supposed to say right there this is crazy you know what just 
buy your Magalites. Support your Magalites. Buy Magalites. They're made in California. You can't go wrong. They last forever, bro. Look at this. This is an oldie. The hell with everything else, man.